is well underway. The current world number one, the current world champion, the winner here five years ago, and so young of Korea, had a simply sensational 2023. 13 finals from 17 tournaments played, winning an incredible 10 titles. Akane Yamaguchi in a record fourth French Open women's singles final. The first player to do so in the Super Series and World Tour era at this particular tournament. Trying to become the first women's singles player to win three French Open titles. She's already won two in 2018 and 2021. Add to that the fact that she was beaten in the final seven years ago. Well, both these players were outstanding last year. I've already told you about Anse Young, uh, but uh, Kane Yamaguchi was in eight finals, winning five titles from 14 tournaments. Her year was cut short by injury problems. You play after September. But as you can see, this will be a 22nd meeting between these two players. And Anse Young has won the last three and won them all in straight games. The last time they played was in the final of the China Open last year. That was a Super 1000 event and it was 21-10, 21-19 in 38 minutes. I'm Jill Clark, delighted to say the former head coach of the Danish national team, Steen Pedersen, is sitting alongside me. I've given a great build-up for this match. It, these two have played so many times, and it's so often is very good indeed. Yeah, this is uh, a fantastic match we're going to see, uh, and uh, so exciting to see how they are after their injury problems yes, last year. Yes, both of them are back from injury. I can say Young only turned 22 last month from Guangzhou in South Korea, enjoying her 32nd consecutive week as world number one. Looking at her matches, uh, well, she beat the two-time former champion, Herbing Chow, in the quarterfinal. And yesterday, uh, the former champion and three-time finalist, Tai Su Ying, as uh, she had to come from 11-18 down in the deciding game. She saved four match points before booking her place in today's final. Akane Yamaguchi is the older of the two, 26 years of age. She's shorter as well, that equates to just under five foot two. A born in Fukui, and uh, she is in her ninth French Open. She's a big supporter of this event. Well, she's uh, pretty much taken on the entire Chinese team on her uh, way through to today's uh, final. Uh, three Chinese opponents, including in both the quarterfinal and the semi-final. The quarterfinal against Zhang Yiman, the 2021 World Championship bronze medalist, and the semi-final against the Olympic champion and last year's winner, Chen Wufei. That thriller, 22-20 uh, in the deciding game. So our court officials for this one, Iris Metzbulu of Estonia, is our umpire and the service judge, Liu Yun, from China. So there, the Korean coach, former player, Sung Ji Hyun, who was a semi-finalist at this event in 2016. Coach Imabepu on Akane Yamaguchi's bench. Steen, I'm afraid I missed who won the toss of the coin and who chose what. Uh, Anse Young won the uh, coin toss and immediately chose to start on the near side here. Yeah, well, we've been talking all week about the drift in this arena. 
and we're not going to tell you what it is apart from a sideways drift which is during the rallies as we look down on the Ladies court as all of you do and it's from right, right to left Yamaguchi, Japan. and on my left and Seon, korea huge support for both these players Akane Yamaguchi to surf, love all, play. So Akane Yamaguchi, history maker today in a record fourth French Open women's singles final. Can she create another record and become the first women's singles player to win this title three times? That's just long as a background. Now, just going back to the drift, I was going to say, we're not going to tell you about the lengthways drift, because it seems to have changed every day, Esteem. So we yeah. need to watch a little bit before we can say what we think is going on with the yeah. Indications drift. already in the first rally here, where Yamaguchi played woefully short, and then Anse Young put it over the back line. Which would suggest that the shuttle flying faster going towards the far end of the court as we look down at the yeah. moment. Well, it's been a year since Akane Yamaguchi beat her opponent of today. That was in the final of the German Open, exactly a year ago. Yeah. Just before All England. Oh, that is delightful. Why do you think Yamaguchi has One. been struggling in the last few encounters against Aung San Yang? I think uh, Aung San Yang has uh, improved her physicality um, ahead of last year. Um, she's covering the ground really well, covering the court well. Um, we've always known that she has um, a great um, badminton eye, anticipates Super well, and um, now the physicality, uh, or not now, but last year the physicality um, got up to mark, and um, she could simply control and neutralize um, Kanye Yamaguchi. I also think Yamaguchi played a bit too many tournaments, and, um, and that goes for both these two players, and, and they paid the price for it at the end of, of last year. Yes, Yamaguchi. Hurt her foot Three, playing the two. team competition of the Asian Games in Hangzhou. Hangzhou, incidentally, is where we'll have the World Tour Finals, the culmination of all the World Tour events. Oh, that's just long as well. Yeah. And when I said that, um, I thought it was going to be interesting to see these two uh, against each other here. It's because... Um, when they got back after injury in January, An Young immediately won Malaysia Open and, and sort of um, result-wise uh, lived up to what we could expect from her. But in my opinion, not entirely playing-wise. And she uh, retired from India Open the week after. So uh, I feel perhaps uh, physically there's still uh, some small issues with, um, with An Young. And the question mark is, where is Yamaguchi? I don't, I'm not sure she's entirely at the top of her game yet. I, I feel she's still um, trying to come back from, uh, from injury. Yeah, I think that, and I think her results so far this year, two so previous individual Three, tournaments, quarter-final as the defending champion at the Malaysian Open, lost to Zhang Yiman, who she beat in the quarter-final here. And uh, in India, lost in the second Four, round to Busaman Umbangarampan. Yeah. So that, that's results that indicates that there's still work to do. Now, this is a very positive tournament yeah. for Yamaguchi. Um, but, but this is the real um, measure, actually, uh, to see what, is, um, what does she have when it's Ante Young on the other side. Oh. 
Oh, that's lovely. She's developed these, uh, what you Danes call uh, a stick smash. Yes. Uh, a quick release. Think of the racket. Look at that. Yes. Yep. The There's... arm is not doing anything. The arm is not following through. No. And it's, it's, it comes down really steeply yes. and it's half pace, but it's crisp, it's sharp. And it doesn't cost any energy. Yeah. Nice. And look, look how much uh, Akane Yamaguchi is moving around Port. Five. Compared to Anse Young, if you sort of uh, close your eyes a little bit, you will see a white spot, that's Yamaguchi, and uh, a blue spot, that's um, Anse Young, and you can see the white spot is moving a lot more than the blue. I can see that without closing my eyes at all. Yeah, but just close them <laughs> more, you close them more. <laughs> I know what you mean, Steve. I'm teasing. <laughs> Yeah, that's lovely. Look how close that was to the net. It's of course, also got something to do with shot quality and, and, and reach. But, but sometimes I've heard Nine, players five. say, I'm, I'm going to run, I'm going to wear my opponent down, and I'm, I'm a better runner. It doesn't matter. Because your opponent is controlling you all the time, so you could be running really, really well, it doesn't really matter because you're not in control. Yeah, and if your opponent is hitting winners, it doesn't matter how much you run. No. Skill is so important in our sport. Good oh, shot. that's lovely. As demonstrated there. Yeah. And that's yeah. super important if Yamaguchi can Sorry, make and so Young take one extra Six, step, especially nine. on on that uh, strapped right knee. You see, that was shorter than the uh, white line, the double service line. No, not the double service line. I keep saying that. It's the service it's line, line, also in singles. Good follow up. Yeah, clever. Brilliant. Clever. Inside the back line now, there's beautiful control. And I feel so far we have a pretty good read on the drift, just as you mentioned earlier on. And so Young playing with the drift. Yeah, and there's a demonstration of the sideways drift. Service over, 10 8. Oh, that may have been going wide. Oh, that's sensational. Well, this is badminton of the very highest quality. And it's in these situations where Anse Young is put under pressure, I feel that she's still lacking something in terms of uh, movement, and I think that's the knee injury that's um, still um, having some yes. effect. She was a bit lucky to uh, get out of jail yesterday against uh, Tai Su Ying. Was uh, Anse Young. Yeah, 11, 18 down, he would uh, assume that she was down and out. Well, that's the beauty of our sport. Oh, gets the net caught. To the big game interval, and so young with a two point advantage. What an excellent start to this women's singles final. Ten 
でなくて、原画、原画、原画のまま、タイミングで待つのが大事だと思う。ハソギちゃんが言うんだったら、タイミングで待つのが大事だと思う。ハソギちゃんが言うんだったら、タイミングで待つのが大事だと思う。ハソギちゃんが言うんだったら、タイミングで待つのが大事だと思う。ハソギちゃんが言うんだったら、タイミングで거리가짧아진것같으니까조금더멀리멀리멀리조금더잘하고있어잘밀어놓고지금앞사기잘보고있어11.9 So 11.9 the advantage to Un Se Young. Constructed rally. Twelve nine. <laughs> nice, very nice. Service over. Here's a fun fact for you, Steve. If Akane Yamaguchi 12. were to win today, uh, then it would mean that we've had six different women's singles winners at the first six World Tour events of the year. Wow. Really yeah, that's quite the opposite of uh, last year, I suspect. Which was at the beginning of the year. These two players were They're dominating. Winning They yep. were winning everything. Twelve. So it's got. Some good net um, rallies from uh, Yamaguchi there. Oh, she's missed it. Yeah. Twelve. Uh, and Yamaguchi, she could just stand there and watch a losing shot become a winner. And she's back level. Nice. nice. And that, that's uh, a fantastic shot and uh, super important for Yamaguchi to... Uh, to make these kind of shots here in the opening stages and also when she's at the front court, if she can play a little deception and then play to the front court of Anse Young, that's where she'll uh, possibly uh, exploit the, uh, the strap knee of Anse Young. Next shot. Yeah. Wow! My goodness, she moved back quickly to play that final smash. Yamaguchi. 14, 12. This is a wonderful little spell from the Japanese player. Five straight points. Look at that athletic movement. And that's the sign that, that she's not fully fit, Anse Young. That and also that there, there are a few more mistakes creeping into her basic game than we saw uh, last year when she was dominating. A terrific run of six straight points for Yamaguchi. That's when we thought that perhaps Anse Young was beginning to dominate at 12 9. What a comeback from Yamaguchi. That's 
punch clear. Just long, well left. I think that rally scheme was a wonderful example of what you were talking about earlier, about if you watch the movement of the two players, they had the longest rally so far. But uh, Yamaguchi was, was covering, seemed to be covering so yeah. much more court. Yeah, and, and I mean, it was an easy one because Yamaguchi is always, almost always covering more court than her opponent because of her reach, so, so she's... Lack of reach, you mean? Yeah, lack of reach. Yeah. We can see that Anse Young is um, staying over. away from playing uh, 16, drop shots from 14. her forehand because that would give Yamaguchi the possibility of using those deceptions to uh, the front court from the net. Oh, way out of position. Yeah, good disguise on the lift from Service Anse Young. Over. 15, 16. Oh, that's wild. All level once more. 16. I get the sense, Steen, it's more important for Yamaguchi to win this opening game. Otherwise, yeah. she's playing the better end, playing against the drift, so yeah. it's easier to control shots to the back of the court. Totally agree. I have the same feeling. Also, given that she hasn't taken a game off and on the last three meetings. Could have played that and say young. Service over. Yeah, it was a misjudgment. 17, 16. Oh, it was plumb on the line. What a great shot from Yamaguchi. Missed it. A rare occasion 16. where it looked to me as if that was a bit of panic from Anse Young. She wasn't really on balance for that. No, but, but that's exactly those kind of shots. That's the difference between a knee strapping or sort of like an injury layoff. And before that, yeah. um, it might seem like small things. And, and we just didn't see them when she was at her absolute dominant best. to a um, cross drop from uh, Yamaguchi, perhaps. Another one drifts on. And Yamaguchi, two points away from the open game. 19, 16. No question about the drift. No. Steam, are you ready to have a very close run? Service over. 
Well done, you. 20 game points. Three game 17. point opportunities. Oh, I can't hear Yamaguchi. Oh, yeah, that's a great shot. That is exquisite. So Fantastic over. touch. 18, 20. Even got the net cords. Yeah. It was so accurate. First game point brilliantly saved by Anse Young. Last two rallies of the opening game, drop shots from the back of the courts, getting net courts. Opening game to Akane Yamaguchi, 21-18 in 20 minutes. <laughs> This opening game that was Babington of the very highest quality. Now Yamaguchi from this One near side of the court. She's going to need to be awfully careful with her clears and lifts that she doesn't hit long of the back line. Positive note for Yamaguchi. She's able to uh, sort of hit herself out of problems on the back court a bit easier on this near side. So that's what she uh, should utilize from time to time the ability to play all the way long cross, even if under pressure. Silver, one, 
flashes have to be steeper. Longest rally so far. And one of one of the problems we saw for Yamaguchi here is that a lot of players they try to control playing with the length waist drift by clearing higher. Um, it's not a really good solution because you just leave more time for the opponent. So you, you've got to so somehow over. find Three, the right touch one. in your clearing game, which is more difficult than lifting from the front court. It's easier to find the back court there. And uh, it's normally what the top players are super good at. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, she missed a step there. Brilliant. Well set up by Kane Yamaguchi. And there, there we see the last two rallies. Here it comes. One. There she misses a step. She's put under pressure there, and the recovery. And then, the, I mean, it wasn't a really good uh, shot, but, but after the one with a lot of pressure, then the recovery takes a little bit longer time uh, over the injured knee. I really do like these uh, steep, Sorry, I don't know whether you want to call them half smashes Two. or yeah. whether you want to call Four. them fast drops. Steep, but steep smashes. Yeah, that's a beauty. And if they're a little bit slower, then they become long drop shots, neutralizing shots that you can't really do anything. Particularly dangerous with as an opponent. Excellent placement yeah. there. Oh, she could have killed that. Seems to me that Anise Young is beginning to Four. get Four. to the net first, and if you're controlling the net area, it uh, follows that you tend to control the rallies. Yeah, and being able to play the closest to the net, and that's also something that's affected by the drift. Oh, wow. Five. Four. Four straight points to go into the lead. Going wide. That's a delightful backhand, isn't it? She played two backhands from deep in court in that yeah. rally, and so young. And I think that's the first time in the match. Seven, and I think that might five. be another sign of the knee, because of course, if you normally. Uh, have to land and push back. I think she, it's, it's easier to turn, but of course, 
it's not such a good thing in singles because you've got your back to the net. You can <laughs> yeah. see where your opponent is. Six of the last seven points to Unse Young. Service so over. I had a little think about seven. it. Oh, she's challenging. It's the first Canada challenge on challenge finals day. Now. Very difficult for us to see from up here on that back line. It did look as if it was pretty flat. And indeed, it was long. Good challenge. Seven all play. Oh, challenge that yeah. as well. I saw that as in. Challenges called out. Yeah. Wow, two challenges in two consecutive rallies. Yeah, it's close. You can see it is exactly plumb on the line. the outside edge of the line. Yeah. Even in the instant review, people have a busy at the moment. Here we go. Oh, it was wide by a whisker. My goodness. One challenge remaining. Service over. Eight, seven. <laughs> <laughs> this challenge was called by the line judge, wasn't yeah. it? My goodness. Line judges this week have been superb. She read that uh, forehand shot all the way, uh, Anse Young. She was committing 80% to that corner following the cross clear. That's one of her strengths where she's better than, uh, yeah, I, th I would say all the others. I don't think there's anyone who reads the game better than she does. Yeah. Which is presumably one of the reasons why she never appears to be moving. Exactly as far or as fast as yeah. the other players, yeah. because she's reading it. Yeah. That's one thing you don't want to see when you're Anse Young, having dived for a defense and then looking up and see a flying Japanese with a ragged high at the front court there. So this over. 10, 8. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And Anse Young to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage. Well, quite frankly, this is getting better and better. Yeah, 
ってくるかも大きくなってくるから上がるためにすぐにこう後ろ後ろ下がる感じじゃなくてちょっともうちょっと渋っとくる前に渋っとくるそこちょっと相手に簡単に簡単に簡単に簡単に空気が出てくるからね、うん、そこだけ見逃さないでミスしないように決めていこう11-8 How did she get that? Japanese coach can only nod in admiration for the skills of I'm so young. me that was the first sign or perhaps a little bit of the hard work that Yamaguchi has put in in the match so far is beginning to take its toll. Yeah she was a little late on the uh, short forehand there. Yeah. But uh, I also think that she might be realizing that it's simply too hard to uh, play a full game with the drift to to win this and she might take her chances in a in a third game where they change ends at the middle of the game. Oh my goodness gracious. What on earth happened there? Service over nine. Oh, very characteristic error from Unsay Young. That's the points that you almost never got in the first um, eight months of um, 2023. There were very, very few free points. Beautiful drop. Three quick points to Yamaguchi. We can also see here that um, Ansi Young is covering the front court a little bit better because she can commit a little bit extra to it because she's all the, she's got all the time in the world at the back court because Yamaguchi is playing so high clears. I think it's those situations where suddenly you make two, three sort of unexplainable errors on the uh, side where you're playing up against the drift that's that's been puzzling a lot of the players this week.
Oh, Oi. brilliant. A moment of magic from Akane Yamaguchi. The cross court forehand net shot played to absolute perfection. Here it comes, look at that. Well, I said a moment ago, I thought that Yamaguchi was looking as if the pace of this final was beginning to take its toll. Thank you. I thought the same in that rally from Anse Young. <laughs> Um, since then, Yamaguchi has won five straight points. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. well, there you go. So, That's why we have you here, Steve. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> um, I was uh, on the same bandwagon as you were, Joe, so sometimes you're just absolutely mistaken. Yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, what a net shot off a net shot. Brilliant. Yeah, good perception. One comes to an end, but those five straight points have put Yamaguchi right back in this second game. That could prove costly. And I think that, that long rally that also took its toll on, on Yamaguchi, the, the cross net shot that she won on, that was to me an all or nothing shot. Yeah, I agree. A couple of rallies ago. Brilliant. Oh. Absolute pinpoint accuracy. 17. Oh, it's called yeah, out. Yeah, it's called cool out. Was it long? Yeah, it was. It was. Um, on the line wow. in terms of the side, but not uh, in terms of the length. Testing rally. Amazing. That's going wide. Yeah. <laughs> she is feeling it. Has that broken the record for this final? The Longest rally, I wonder. Longest so far was 37 shots. Yeah. That hurt. Yeah, 42. There you go. Oh, missed it. I think Yamaguchi has spent a lot of energy here in this second game that she might have uh, or that she might need in the third game because I don't think she's coming back from these six points down no I can't see it from the body language but then you never know no. it's game point opportunities seven of them for Anse Young to game level point. this final at one game apiece One game all. Brilliant from Anse Young. Second game won by Anse Young. 21-13. One game all. Forty-four minutes into the match. And one game all. Uh -huh. 
달라질 거야. 달라질 거야. 여기서 같이만 가도 돼. 같이만 가도 지금 힘드니까 또 낮게, 낮게 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 조금만 낮게 잡고 자 낮게 낮게 계속 또걸 거야. 그거 조금만 참고 고비 지나면 좀 괜찮아질 거야. 그지 그거만 잡으면 돼. 그리고 자 여기서 뒤로 나 뒤로 보내는 게 조금 부담스럽다 싶으면 높게 가든지 아니면 조금 대각으로 코스를 잠깐 거리를 조금 더 주고 대각으로 주고 조금만 더 뛰면 돼. できればできればリソーはあのスロープスロー直とアゲルペースとかミックスが一番理想だけどはいかなり難しいよねかなり難しいと思うリソーはあちょっと死んだふり作戦のところまた結構ね詰めたけどちょっと欲しかったねクロス
Yeah, she got back so well there. And so young. Service over. Six, one. You gotta love it. <laughs> now we not only have a tumble serve, we also have a tumble defense. <laughs> Brilliant. Never gives up. Fortunate on the first defensive shot there from Yamaguchi. Service over. Seven, two. net drop from uh, Yamaguchi's backhand side would be uh, a very good shot. I think psychologically how I've talked about those 12 straight points Two. at the end of the second game and the start of this, yeah, it looks to me as if uh, Yamaguchi, uh, the belief that she can win this is seeping from her. Yeah, there's nothing left in the tank. No. So it's a very handsome lead indeed, an eight-point advantage as they change ends in this deciding game. Anse Young looks to be getting stronger and stronger. And look at the body language of Akane Yamaguchi. If you're a Yamaguchi fan, that is extremely worrying. <laughs> So, Steen, any ideas as to what perhaps Yamaguchi could uh, try to turn this around? I think it's very, very difficult. Um, she, she's got to have a little help from um, from Anse Young in, in terms of some uh, some mistakes or some easy points.
Wow, good control from low down there at the net from Yamaguchi. Yeah, well, Anse Young is hurting too. 55 minutes this final has been in progress. And unlike some of the disciplines, they don't uh, hang around in between rallies. No. <laughs> and you never know what the threshold is before you suddenly start making numerous errors. Why not play a third drop oh. shot? Service over, 12-4. But I think, I think the most likely outcome is that, that um, Akane Yamaguchi is, is spending more and more energy because um, Anse Young still has the advantage in read and in uh, Brilliant. And the uh, shot making the way I see it. His smash is simply not close enough to no. the line. And that, that was the other idea to start of taking more risks. I, I just don't think it's, it's the DNA of um, Akan Yamaguchi. But this, was, this was how I um, sort of anticipated it when, when the scoreline was 14-8 in the second game, that uh, Yamaguchi would have to play a good start of the third game and then she would have to attack and control a lot more uh, here when she's playing the near side of the court again but now she's she's got an eight point eight point um, deficit to to cover first of all thank you but, i mean we saw it in the was it the world tour finals where Tai Chi Yun came back from 10-19 against yeah. Han Si Young. So, uh, shouldn't rule anything out. That's wide. Service over. Beautiful, beautiful drop. Oh, well, what simply delightful skills. It's not often that Yamaguchi is sent the wrong way. Fantastic rhythm in that deception. Yeah. Just wide. A little bit of a resurgence from Akane Yamaguchi. 
as the match clock ticks over the hour mark. Wonderful atmosphere in the Adidas Arena. Well, they're witnessing the fans, something fairly special. The two outstanding players of last year. It's pushed well on. I said at the start it was a 22nd meeting between these two. It's actually an 11th meeting in a final of an individual tournament. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? They really have been two outstanding players. Oh, the two outstanding players. Just wide. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, it really is a golden era of women's singles at the moment. There's so many players. The fact that we've had five different winners so far in the five World Tour events. You, you know, Carolina Marin, Asina Awol, PV Sindhu. Uh, you know, yeah. so it's all. Ratchanuk. It's all uh, legendary players yeah. that will be remembered uh, for a long time yeah. after they uh, retire from badminton. And it's also the longevity. I mean, Yamaguchi, when was it she won Japan Open first? 2013 as a qualifier. Yeah. Age 16 years, three months and 16 days. So, if you've been in finals of major tournaments since you were 16, that's for 10 years. She's 26 now. Two points away from her second title of the year. And Se Young. Nice match point opportunities. Service over. 20. Ten of match them point ten. for Anse Young. Okay. A second World Tour title of the year and a second French Open title for Anse Young. Amazing performance today, coming from a game deficit to win 21-10 in the deciding game. An hour and three minutes for her victory. Match won by Anse Young, 18-21, 21-13, some lucky fan who's going to get her headband. Well, some of the skills we witnessed today, just sublime. Spare a thought for Akane Yamaguchi. I have to say it's wonderful to see Yamaguchi back on finals day. We haven't seen that since September last year. Confirmation of the score, 18-21.
I do like the way that the uh, court officials and the line judges give a uh, guard of honour. Yeah. Looks very podium. nice. It's a lovely touch, isn't it? The presentation of this beautiful arena, Adidas Arena, bought, built specifically for the Olympic Games, and it will house not only badminton, but rhythmic gymnastics come the Olympic Games, which start in precisely 138 days from now. It will also house the para badminton and the para powerlifting as well. It's a wonderful Mesdames, venue. Messieurs, merci d'accueillir les finalistes du Simple Dame. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the finalists of the Women's Single Tournament. Well, they've both done themselves proud, not only today in the final, but throughout the week here in Paris. For this ceremony, the prizes will be presented by the prizes will be presented by Jules Victorio, President of the Badminton World Federation, and Sylvain Benay, Vice President of the French Badminton Federation. Le finaliste du Simple Dame, runner-up of the Women's Single Tournament from Japan, Akane Yamaguchi. Akane Yamaguchi. In her 23rd World Tour Tournament final, incredibly, a ninth 750 event final. Well, has to settle for second best. put up a wonderful display throughout the entirety of the week. Mesdames et messieurs, vainqueur du Simple Dame des Yonex International de France de Badminton 2024. Now the winner of the Women's Single Tournament your 2024 Yonex French Open champion from Korea, Han Se-young. Han Se-young, a second French Open title. Incredibly, five years after her first, which she won as a teenager. It is her seventh her final at 7.50 level, and incredibly, her sixth title. She won the first three 750 events last year. And adds to that tally here once again in Paris. Merci de faire une ovation au vainqueur et finaliste de ces Yonex International de France. Ladies and gentlemen, Not only great badminton on display today, but the final was played in great spirit, both hugely respectful of the other. What a wonderful advertisement for women's badminton and women's sport in general. She takes leave of centre stage and we look forward to our second final of the day. It's the reigning world champions from Korea, So Xiang Jae and Che Yu Jung, up against the Chinese combination, Fang Yang Zhe and Huang Dong Ping.
Welcome back to the Adidas Arena on finals day here at the Yonex French Open. Well, if the rest of our finals are half as good as the first, the women's singles, we're in for a real treat today. And I suspect, suspect they will be at least half as good. Next up, we have mixed doubles and it's the reigning world champions. The two left-handers, So Siang Jae and Che Yu Jung, up against the Chinese combination Fang Yang Zhe and Huan Dong Ping. Well, as far as the 